All right. Um, today we are in the truck, in the sandbar. We're doing some deliveries. Today's actually my first day with DoorDash. DoorDash is cool because in theory, I can supplement my schedule. You can turn it on at any time and you just start dashing as they say. So I started, it's like 10 a.m. and someone had ordered a 15 piece of wings and an Arizona tall boy. My guess is that's him from the night before. I don't think he woke up and is getting wings. I could be wrong. What was going on? I think they made a mistake even. Maybe I could have checked him and like, hey, where's his multigrain bagel with cream cheese? The wing guy, he's uh, like 20 something minutes from this wing place. Dang. And he left no contact. His place didn't have a doorbell. He's like, knock on the screen door. Well, I'm not gonna pound it, so I knocked. <laughs> And then, you know, I tapped on his window too, because now his wings are getting extra, extra cold. But yeah, I was a little, um, I was a little thrown off by the first two deliveries. Wasn't, wasn't the best. Uh, right now, there's nothing going on. I've been sitting here like two hours, I've made nine dollars in two hours. You have to know when to work. You have to kind of read your audience, know your area, the app will tell you it'll put areas in red, put areas in dark red when, when they're really busy. But it's, you know, this is all a learning curve. And in truth, if you were to support yourself on DoorDash, um, you can't just work it nine to five, so to speak. You need to uh, figure out when the best hours to be out here are and go from there. You know, you've seen the truck before. I cleaned the carpets yesterday. Uh, just this carpet, I can, I, it's Velcro down, so I just take the carpet out and I can just whack it up against something and, and kind of brush it off. Uh, gave the interior a little bit of a cleaning too, just because, you know, I'm working all the time in this thing now. So, um, you know, it's good to keep it clean. I just filled up getting really bad gas mileage, 22 miles per gallon on this last fill. Uh, you guys have all seen this before, but I'm gonna take you around and I'm gonna show you, um, you know, if you are gonna use a K truck, I highly recommend, sorry, if you're gonna use a K truck for delivery or anything, you know, get yourself one of these boxes in the bed. It really adds some practicality. I whip illegal U-turns, don't tell on me all the time, but when you do an illegal little in this truck, you know, it's pretty quick and painless. So don't do that, but you get paid a W-2 um, and you need to know your area. So maybe you've got a great breakfast scene and you can work those early hours, but you know, at least for this Hudson, New Jersey area, the Bergens, Edgewater, Hoboken, uh, Jersey City, Bayonne, man, Starting your day at 10 a.m. thinking you're gonna just be busy, busy, busy? Nah. You better get comfortable peeing into bottles. That's your new life. It isn't gross, honestly. It saves a lot of water. Uh, it's probably the most eco-friendly way to urinate. If you're female, I don't know how you do it. If I was a chick, man, I'll tell you what, I would have that little trouser uh, piss thing, but Okay, let's get back to the topic of the video because again, we're taking major departures into uncharted territories. You kind of confirm the order. Uh, you know what they're ordering. You know where you have to go. It's nice and smooth. If you are driving a K truck around, I imagine anywhere, you are gonna get a huge amount of attention. People are taking videos, pictures, kids. Kids will see you drive by little kids like on the scooters and whatever and they point and they're oh there's something about these trucks that is just so appealing and so cutesy that it really uh it really tickles people like they're really happy to see your vehicle total so far i've made like 22 bucks so if you factor in gas tolls and wear and tear i've yet to break or even now is that uh, like 
indicative indicative of DoorDash in general? No. So for anyone trying to really do this, you can sign on whenever and just fill in your free time, kind of like what I'm doing now, essentially. But if you want to do this job-wise, you need to get on that app, look at the areas, look at what times are busy, and make some sacrifices. I mean, you might have an area where you've got to be out there late, late, late night and you don't start until 6, 7 p.m., 8 p.m., you have the freedom to not do that. But, uh, you know, if you want to make money, if this was a $2 zone, you know, it would have been like I got 80%, 75% more money. And that's, you know, you need to think like that. You're chasing the dollars. You're chasing $3 every couple of minutes is essentially what you're doing when you're out here. You're chasing a five every 15 minutes, 20 minutes if you can. It's a real hustle, very easy. The two Asian restaurants were seamless. Good, just like I get there, there's the food, thank you. And I'm out the door. The Dunkin' Donuts, I had to place the order myself. Well, I shouldn't be placing the order for the customer. Uh, the pizza place was fine, but they didn't start the order until I got there, which again, is kind of, you know, it's worse on the customer. Uh, one more tip. I know this video got long. What can I do? I just ramble. But uh, get yourself, make yourself something like that. Uh, now that I've completed a delivery, they're gonna send it in the mail, but until you get a little skin in the game, they don't, um, you know, you just do it au natural. You know, if you're just sitting at home, wondering what your next step is, how am I gonna make my money? Or what am I gonna do next? or you're waiting for blah, 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 blah. Don't sit around and wait, you know what I mean? If all you're doing is thinking and dreading, do it while making, you know, a couple bucks. Well, sure enough, just as I was recording that video, um, I got an order for Szechuan. All, start your day off right. Szechuan, beef. <laughs> this one was super smooth. One, food is ready right when I show up from the merchant. Easy to get there. You know, they don't want to touch you directly. Leave at my door. Who leaves food outside? You know, if the delivery guy comes to bring you food, you see that person, boy or girl. You know, you take your food directly. What if I just put your food in a completely random spot? I probably did about 22 minutes of driving and I made five bucks. So, uh, you know, and I just accepted a new one that's only gonna make me $3, so give me two minutes and I'll get back to you. Okay, we're back. Uh, I actually just did two deliveries. This guy got a family platter and some Eggman foo rolls. Didn't tip. I don't even need to tell you, uh, you know, what his whole deal was about. Maybe you already know. I'm in Jersey City, take a wild guess. Zero dollar tip. I'm kind of out here for fun, you know, giving this a shot, so I'm not getting bent out of shape about that. Um, do you ever tip zero dollars, though? Nah. You kind of are a particular type of person if you do that. <clears throat> Interesting data to know what kind of food people are eating. It's now a little later. It's it's one o'clock, so I guess you can order Chinese now. It's not so weird. I'm gonna take a whoop. 